How to lose pancreas fat. Excess fat in the pancreas has been linked to type 2 diabetes and pancreatitis. 1. Having excess fat in the pancreas is sometimes called nonalcoholic fatty pancreatic disease. 2. In order to reduce the level of fat in the pancreas, a person must undergo rapid and significant weight loss. This can be accomplished through either a very low calorie diet, or by undergoing gastric bypass surgery. If you have been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, work with your doctor to come up with a plan for losing weight and improving your pancreatic function. Radically restricting your caloric intake. Consult your doctor. Substantially reducing your caloric intake can provide the weight loss necessary to reduce the amount of fat in your pancreas. However, such a radical diet should only be attempted under medical supervision. Talk to your doctor about whether or not a very low-calorie diet is a good fit for you. Set a goal to lose 10 to 15 kilograms 22 to 33 pounds. In a recent study, 9 out of 10 people who lost 15 kilograms 33 pounds put their type 2 diabetes into remission. Working with your doctor, determine how much weight you need to lose. Eat 825 to 850 calories per day. Working together with your doctor, develop a diet plan that uses meal replacement shakes or bars as well as some small balanced meals in order to maintain this low calorie goal. Depending on how much weight you need to lose, you will need to follow this regimen for 3 to 5 months. Diets this low in calories should not be followed by children, pregnant women, or breastfeeding mothers. Stay motivated. A diet this extreme is going to be difficult at times. You will need to work hard to stay motivated and stick to your regimen. Some ideas for staying motivated include finding a support network online or in person, giving yourself non-food rewards when you reach small goals such as a new clothing item, tracking your progress each week, Reintroduce food gradually over two to eight weeks. When you reach your goal, it is important not to return to normal eating patterns too quickly. Work with your doctor to formulate a sensible meal plan to gradually reintroduce typical food portions. Eating too much food too quickly can cause stomach pain, constipation, and other digestive distress. Begin including daily activity after you reach your weight goal. This diet is based on reducing calories without increasing physical activity. After you reach your goal, however, it will be important to begin including some movement into your daily routine. Going for walks. Doing yoga. Water aerobics. 